AFR Talk. I'm Dan Celia. It's great to be here. Lots of fiscal cliff debate going on. Uh, I had a great conversation yesterday on uh, today's issue. Well, no, what's the name? What? I don't know. A- AFA Today, uh, talking with Fred Jackson and Jeremy Wiggins, uh, in reference to some of the issues. That debate continues to go on. We're seeing more and more uh, comments coming out. There's, there's going to be a great article, uh, great cover. I'm going to show you the picture of that cover in my newsletter because it's probably going to be my favorite picture of 2013. Uh, it's, it, I, I'm not going to give it away. I know most of you get, I, I hope um, you get my newsletter. If you don't, go to financialissues.org and sign up for it. It's a free email newsletter. It comes out every Friday afternoon <clears throat> or Friday evening at the close of the market. Uh, great some great commentary out there. A lot of it's very interesting. A lot of it is saying uh, uh, are things that you heard you heard me say yesterday. I'm sure that you've heard most of it throughout the day um, yesterday and, and again, maybe even this morning. So, But I'll talk a little bit about it. Let me just go through some economic numbers. First, yesterday I talked a little bit about the... Um, about the markets, about the uh, manufacturing number that came out yesterday. And manufacturing grew in December. Uh, A gauge uh, coming out of the Institute for Supply Management showed factory sector employment. Factory sector employment expanded after uh, contracting in November. Now, remember, reading above 50 is expansion. Below 50 is contraction. And the index uh, jumped to 52.7, up 4.3 uh, points. <clears throat> so it went from uh, contraction to expansion. That is a very good thing. This is the employment side of the manufacturing number that came out yesterday. So employment in the manufacturing sector is expanding, and that is good news. I wanted to share that with you. Uh, not only is the sector in general has gone from contraction to expansion, meaning that uh, I assume it means that goods and services need to be produced at a greater rate than they did in November. That is expansion. That's good news. But this is really the first bit of good news coming out of the manufacturing sector where we saw expansion, where we've had the employment data Uh, coincide with the expansion in the manufacturing data and we're seeing jobs we're seeing people actually being hired and uh, again uh, that is that is very good news so we'll uh, continue to watch that of course yesterday I don't have to tell you about the market everybody's talking about it and I know that you heard about it and I know that you are somewhat uh, interested in it following it enthused about it excited about it thinking this is it Time to get in. I don't want to miss this. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but everybody's excited, and we saw the Dow go up 308 points. So it was a great start of the new year. By the way, the last five first-day trading days, the last five years, uh, the first day has been up significantly. So... You know, it's it should have been expected, I guess, if you're considering that last five years being a trend. But anyway, the Dow was up 308, the S&P was up 36, the NASDAQ was the big winner on the day, up 3.07%. That is huge. was up 92 points. Here's the thing that I want to talk about about this rally, and and, uh, I am getting, uh, I am cautiously optimistic uh, about this, but let me just say that, and, and I'm probably the emphasis on the word caution, but the interesting part about the rally, unlike it was, it was probably the best rally in my opinion, uh, from uh, Pat in the past that I've seen. Probably the best rally in the last, I don't know, three or four years. I did pull out some great rallies, some data that I had on some great rallies. Uh, I did pull that out uh, early this morning and take a look at it, and it and it it is as good, if not better, than some of the great rallies we've had in the last ten years. Here's what I like about it. It was very broad-based. It was a large rally. It covered every sector. It was a huge rally across the board in every single sector. It was a broad-based rally. It wasn't driven by one sector. It wasn't driven by energy. It wasn't driven by healthcare sector. It wasn't driven by financials, as we often see 
or have seen in the past years a uh, large rally being driven by financials because financials are uh, the biggest uh, sector uh, in in these indices, but this was a broad based uh, rally. Had fairly decent volume. It wasn't you know record breaking, record breaking uh, um, volume, but nevertheless, it was decent va- volume. Today, all the major indices, all the major indices, right now this morning are in negative territory, or they were. They got a bump up on the jobs numbers. So the job numbers came out at eight thirty. Uh, we were up, by the way. On uh, private on jobs, uh, the job numbers that came out uh, indicated that we have seen we went from 362,000 unemployment claims filed to 372. So there was an increase in uh, those filing for unemployment claims. Not a big deal. But uh, the other thing was the ADP numbers came out for the jobs for the month of December. Tomorrow is the official number, comes out tomorrow morning. And the ADP numbers says that we've added in the month of December 215,000 private sector jobs. That's the ADP number. It's not the official number. If that is accurate, then that's pretty good news. I mean, that's good. Now, it's December, folks. Of course, there were a lot of jobs added in December. It's Christmas, and there's a lot of temporary help being uh, hired. One of the same exact reasons why we're seeing those filing for unemployment claims go up because December's over, and all that temporary help, uh, some of it long-term temporary help, is is gone. So, you know, it, you got to remember that December, but nevertheless, uh, it, it did give a little ray of hope because what happened were uh, futures were negative territory. The ADP number came up and futures bumped up. So uh, to positive territory. So we'll see how the um, markets open. Look, I, you wouldn't expect a big day today in the markets based on the big day that we had yesterday. But we'll wait and see. And we're, we'll see the markets open here in about um, 13 minutes. Anyway, we'll, we'll watch that. Uh, lots of other uh, Fiscal Cliff kind of news, more information being kind of form- formulated. I do want to get to your calls today, 888 589 